Production rate calculators are a really handy tool when it comes to estimating snow. What they're gonna do is take an area of a lot or a walkway and help our estimators figure out how long that area is gonna take. The important thing to remember about production rate calculators, especially if you're comparing them to work area templates, is that production rate calculators only factor labor. So they're not used to calculate materials like salt. They are just used to calculate how long it's gonna to take to clear something. They'll translate an area, for example, square feet or acres, into a, an amount of man hours based on your company's production rates. Let's look at a real example. Down here, I've created a snow plowing lots production rate calculator. And let's just look at the first line item and then we can expand on that. Here, I've created a task name that says plow lot with an eight foot plow truck. The units of measure is gonna be what I'm gonna measure my area in. Because we're dealing with parking lots, I've chosen acres, but this could have also been square feet. Now the installation rate is our production rate, and our production rate is 0.8 acres per man hour, meaning with a plow truck, we can plow almost a full acre each man hour. Now the production rates here are just samples, they're close to reality, but certainly you'd use your own production rates to govern your estimates. Now I can also put in a production rate calculator, a different option. So maybe we're gonna do it with a plow truck or maybe we're gonna use a skid steer with a 10 foot pusher. And if we use that, still measuring it in acres, but a skid steer can do 1.4 acres per hour. Or I'll put a loader with a pusher in there and it's also measured in acres, but a loader can do almost four acres per man hour. So I've got now three different production rates depending on the equipment used. And when the estimator is going to try to estimate time for a job, they're simply going to enter the amount of acres cleared by that piece of equipment, whatever one is best for the job, and it'll calculate the time that it's going to require. And the nice thing is you can actually mix and match these as well. So for instance, I could say on, on, a, on a mall parking lot, we need 10 acres cleared by the loader, and we need three and a half acres cleared by pickup trucks or skid steers, and you can mix and match those so that it'll, again, it'll total up the hours so we get one nice neat number. Now we also can't forget about salting because when we're clearing a lot, chances are we gotta estimate the time to salt as well. So I've put in there as well a task called salting lots. It's also measured in acres and we can do six of those acres per man hour. Now there's a lot of variables here that we're not talking about. The first variable is that every site is different. You could have different curves and uh, curbs that the drivers have to steer around angles, bends, traffic patterns, all kinds of things which could influence these production rates. So these are just a starting point for the estimators. They're not intended to be bulletproof uh, numbers. The other variable you've got here is the amount of snow you're getting. So you could also have issues with, great, we can do 0.8 acres an hour if snow is a normal amount, but if you get two and a half feet of snow, obviously your production rate's gonna go way down. So these would be average production times. Although for those people that want to get a little more detailed in the way they estimate, we can certainly take this to the next level. I can do snow plowing lots, normal. I'll put that in, bracket, or in the brackets and then I'll save that. Now I'm going to copy that production rate calculator and I'm going to call this one snow plowing lots difficult. And what I'm going to do now is change my production rates in a difficult lot Maybe we can only clear 1.6 acres per man hour. And my skid steer can only do 1.1. And my loader and pusher can only do three acres per man hour. We'll drop that a little bit down as well, and I'll hit OK. And now what you can see is I have two production rate calculators. One we're gonna use for a difficult lot, one we're gonna use for a normal lot. And that way, and I could do the same thing for easy, that way my estimators can pick the production rate calculator that best suits the job that they're estimating. We'll show you how to use the production rate calculators when we do the estimating videos for snow. If you have any questions about setting up your production rate calculators, be sure to email us at support at goelement.com.